Well, in 2015, my insurance changed, and that's the first thing I checked. Does it cover bariatric surgery? Does Dr. Pilcher, is he on the plan? And Eureka, he was on the plan. But I don't feel hungry anymore, and I don't have that, what am I going to eat next? Or, you know, thinking about food all the time because it's like I don't need to think about that anymore. As far as what I eat now and my food patterns, it's protein, 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 and beans. A lot of people say rice and beans, I say protein and beans. And it's very small amounts. And before, I didn't know when I was full. And I have a very vocal stomach now, and it tells me, don't send anything else down here, we're done down here. And it is very vocal, and it tells me, stop. And now I go through the drive, go past the drive throughs as I go, and I just kind of wave. It's like, there you are. I'm not in your line anymore. I can cross my legs. I don't have to look at the weight capacity if I'm buying a step stool. Um, my teeth look bigger in pictures because I don't have chipmunk, ch chipmunk cheeks anymore, so I can open my mouth more and show more teeth. And yes, I have like wrinkly skin or it's more wrinkly and it's jiggly but the way I kind of look at it it was jiggly before I had the surgery. One of the main pieces of advice that I'd like to give is to be sure and go to the support group after you have surgery. The surgeons are there everybody can ask whatever questions they have and plus you can see that there's a lot of people that are going through what you're going through and they are there to help you.